In mathematics, in particular the theory of Lie algebras, the Weyl group of a root system phi is a subgroup of the isometry group of the root system. Specifically, it is the subgroup which is generated by reflections through the hyperplanes orthogonal to the roots, and as such is a finite reflection group. Abstractly, Weyl groups are finite Coxeter groups, and are important examples of these. The Weyl group of a semi-simple Lie group, a semi-simple Lie algebra, a semi-simple linear algebraic group, etc., is the Weyl group of the root system of that group or algebra. It is named after Hermann Weyl. Weyl chambers. Removing the hyperplanes defined by the roots of phi cuts up Euclidean space into a finite number of open regions, called Weyl chambers. These are permuted by the action of the Weyl group, and it is a theorem that this action is simply transitive. In particular, the number of Weyl chambers equals the order of the Weyl group. Any non-zero vector V divides the Euclidean space into two half spaces bounding the hyperplane V orthogonal to V, namely V plus and V minus. If V belongs to some Weyl chamber, no root lies in V, so every root lies in V plus or V minus, and if alpha lies in one then minus alpha lies in the other. Thus phi plus equals phi V plus consists of exactly half of the roots of phi. Of course, phi plus depends on V, but it does not change if V stays in the same Weyl chamber. The base of the root system with respect to the choice phi plus is the set of simple roots in phi plus, i.e., roots which cannot be written as a sum of two roots in phi plus. Thus, the Weyl chambers, the set phi plus, and the base determine one another, and the Weyl group acts simply transitively in each case. The following illustration shows the six Weyl chambers of the root system A2, a choice of V, the hyperplane V, and positive roots alpha, beta, and gamma. The base in this case is alpha, gamma, Coxeter group structure. Weyl groups are examples of finite reflection groups. As they are generated by reflections, the abstract groups are accordingly finite Coxeter groups which allows them to be classified by their coxeter dynkin diagram. Concretely, being a Coxeter group means that a Weyl group has a special kind of presentation in which each generator she is of order 2, and the relations other than she 2 are of the form Mij. The generators are the reflections given by simple roots, and Mij is 2, 3, 4, or 6 depending on whether roots i and j make an angle of 90, 120, 135, or 150 degrees, i.e., whether in the Dynkin diagram they are unconnected, connected by a simple edge, connected by a double edge, or connected by a triple edge. Weyl groups have a Bruhat order and length function in terms of this presentation. The length of a Weyl group element is the length of the shortest word representing that element in terms of these standard generators. There is a unique longest element of a Coxeter group, which is opposite to the identity in the Bruhat order. Example The Weyl group of the Lie algebra is the symmetric group on n elements, Sn. The action can be realized as follows. If is the Cartan subalgebra of all diagonal matrices with trace zero, then Sn acts on via conjugation by permutation matrices. This action induces an action on the dual space, which is the required Weyl group action. Definition The Weyl group can be defined in various ways, depending on context. And a specific realization depends on of choice, of Cartan subalgebra for a Lie algebra, of maximal torus for a Lie group. The Weyl groups of a Lie group and its corresponding Lie algebra are isomorphic. And indeed a choice of maximal torus gives a choice of Cartan subalgebra. 
For a Lie algebra, the WEYL group is the reflection group generated by reflections in the roots, the specific realization of the root system depending on a choice of Cartan subalgebra. For a Lie group G satisfying certain conditions, given the torus T less than G, the WEYL group with respect to that torus is defined as the quotient of the normalizer of the torus N equals N equals N by the centralizer of the torus Z equals Z, equals ZG. The group W is finite, Z is of finite index in N. If T equals T0 is a maximal torus then the resulting quotient N, Z equals N, T is called the WEYL group of G, and denoted W. Note that the specific quotient set depends on a choice of maximal torus but the resulting groups are all isomorphic. Since maximal toria conjugate, if G is compact and connected, then the WEYL group of G is isomorphic to the WEYL group of its Lie algebra. For example, for the general linear group GL, a maximal torus is the subgroup D of invertible diagonal matrices, whose normalizer is the generalized permutation matrices, and whose WEYL group is the symmetric group. In this case the quotient map N N T splits, so the normalizer N is a semi-direct product of the torus and the WEYL group, and the WEYL group can be expressed as a subgroup of G. In general this is not always the case, the quotient does not always split, the normalizer N is not always the semi-direct product of N and Z and the WEYL group cannot always be realized as a subgroup of G. Bruhat decomposition. If B is a Borel subgroup of G, i.e., a maximal connected solvable subgroup and a maximal torus T equals T0 is chosen to lie in B, then we obtain the Bruhat decomposition which gives rise to the decomposition of the flag variety G, B into Schubert cells. The structure of the Hasse diagram of the group is related geometrically to the cohomology of the manifold, which is constrained by Poincaré duality. Thus algebraic properties of the WEYL group correspond to general topological properties of manifolds. For instance, Poincaré duality gives a pairing between cells in dimension K and in dimension N. K. The bottom dimensional cell corresponds to the identity element of the WEYL group, and the dual top dimensional cell corresponds to the longest element of a coxeter group. Analogy with algebraic groups there are a number of analogies between algebraic groups and WEYL groups, for instance, the number of elements of the symmetric group is n, and the number of elements of the general linear group over a finite field is related to the Q factorial, thus the symmetric group behaves as though it were a linear group over the field with one element. This is formalized by the field with one element, which considers WEYL groups to be simple algebraic groups over the field with one element. Cohomology For a non-obelian connected compact Lie group G, the first group cohomology of the WEYL group W with coefficients in the maximal torus T used to define it, is related to the outer automorphism group of the normalizer as the outer automorphisms of the group out are essentially the diagram automorphisms of the Dynkin diagram. While the group cohomology is computed in Hamily, Matthew and Suter 2004 and is a finite elementary abelian 2 group. For simple Lie groups it has order 1, 2, or 4. The zeroth and second group cohomology are also closely related to the normalizer.